After a long New Brunswick winter, summer brings with it a reprieve from cold temperatures and many indoor activities. But as people embrace opportunities to get outside in nature, they also risk coming into contact with ticks, which can contain the bacteria that causes Lyme disease. A recent study says that 100 New Brunswickers tested positive for Lyme disease in 2023. Uh, the first tick introduced into the New Brunswick was back in 2007 or 2008, and that has been coming from the Maine, from the U.S. And they weren't here before that? Uh, not real cases has been reported before that. Okay. And so oh, where are they found? Where, where are ticks? How are ticks trapped? traveling around? Yeah, there are different um, uh, mode of transmission, so especially the, the white-tailed deers, uh, the main carriers. Besides that, the rodents and the migratory birds are the main vectors which, which spread the tick around. In New Brunswick, actually, the, in 2000, uh, uh, 2023 report of public health, New Brunswick report does say that the cases has been uh, um, increased tremendously. Uh, we have a, about 100 cases, 48 men and 52 women back in 2023. Scientists at the Research Productivity Council say evidence shows the tick population is moving northward from the southern United States. With temperatures warming up due to climate change, the environment is becoming more and more suitable for ticks to be able to reproduce and survive. And the data supports that. Of the 100 confirmed cases of Lyme disease in 2023, 92 of them were in New Brunswick Health Region 2, six were in Region 1, and one case was in Region 3. So RPC is testing ticks for a very specific bacteria. So for ticks, we're testing for the bacteria that causes Lyme disease. So we're not testing for Lyme disease itself. There's a bacteria that ticks can carry and pass on to humans and animals that will cause Lyme disease. So if someone finds a tick, you should remove it carefully. You want to make sure that you're getting the head of the tick when you're removing it um, and not leaving the head inside your dog or inside yourself if it's on yourself. And that's so important to get the head. And yes. why is that? So the, the digestive tract is what carries the bacteria that causes Lyme disease. Um, and it can be found in like the salivary glands of the tick. So if we're gonna be able to pick up that bacteria, we need the whole tick, especially its head. And then we want you to put it in a clean, dry container, like a Ziploc bag or a little tiny Tupperware container and bring it right to us. So if you're gonna wait to bring it to us, put it in the freezer. Um, but otherwise it's fine. It doesn't have to be, it can be live or dead, it doesn't matter. And bring it right to RPC or you can mail it to us. So once we get your tick, what we'll do is we will um, extract the DNA from it. Once we have extracted DNA, we will run what's called a PCR test on it. Um, PCR stands for polymerase chain reaction. It's used to test for any number of things, any number of viruses, bacteria, diseases. Um, and the way that that works is what you're doing is you're targeting a known piece of DNA. So our PCR for ticks, uh, it targets the bacteria's DNA. And what it will do is it cuts a little chunk out of the DNA that is unique to this bacteria and then it amplifies it. So it copies it lots and lots and lots of times. We put it in a machine that reads that amplification and then we can say, yes, this has this bacteria or no, we haven't detected the bacteria. And, and where are ticks found? Ticks are usually found in long grass, in the woods. Um, even we've had people find them just like on their lawns, like. And on animals as well. Yeah, so deer carry them, specifically deer ticks. Um, and we've gotten a lot from people's dogs. Like people get, pull them off of their dogs all the time. So, so what is your advice for people um, at this time of year? So this time of year, ticks are just coming out from overwintering. They're, the population is really high this time of year. So I would be careful going out in long grass without long pants and long socks on. I would be checking your dogs every time you bring them inside to make sure that they don't have a tick on them and also treating your pets for ticks.